first graders, we're starting off today with a warm up we've never done before. So I have these tools in my hand, and right now I have three sets of 10. So we can see here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten green ones, which means there's ten red ones and ten blue ones. So altogether we have 30. I'm going to be using some of these tools, and we're going to do a little comparing today. So for right now, I think I'm gonna just going to just use my red and my blue, and I'm going to take off some of my blue and some of my red. So the key here is, will I drop any or not? Who's going to vote that I'm going to drop some by the end of this warm-up? You think I will? I bet a lot of you are like, me! <laughs> He's going to. All right. So here I have some new cubes. So I took off some of my um, blue cubes and some of my red cubes, and now I have this. All right, so I want you to stop and think. What are you noticing here? How are you seeing this? Maybe you said you know this one's three. You just looked at it and you know it's three. So this would be three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe you notice that. Or maybe you even thought about putting them together, right? So seven blues, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blues. Oh, plus the three from the red would make a 10. So maybe you thought about it like that. Or maybe you even thought about comparing them. So maybe you thought about there are one, two, three, four more blue than red. Who knows? How did you see it? Okay. I'm going to put these back together. So I'm always going to return them back to my 10 so I can think about it like that. And actually, I think I'm going to get my green in the play here in the game. All right. What do you see here? What are you noticing? All right. Let's see, maybe you notice that I turned the blue back into a 10, but then I added three more green. So 10 plus three more makes 13. So this actually has 13 cubes. And then maybe you thought, well, the red is way shorter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Even if I had two of the red ones, boom, boom, I still wouldn't get all the way to the end of the 13. All right, so maybe you notice that. Did anybody count them all together? Let's see. We have two, four, six red ones, plus 13 blue and green. Woo, I have to stand back. So six plus 13 makes what? One less than 10, which is 19. Okay, but I'm wondering if anybody compared again. Did anybody find out how many more red ones they would need in order to make this whole blue and green, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'd need seven more red ones, red cubes, to make 13. Whew. That's a lot of cubes, right? Okay, let's do another one. One more. Okay, I always wanna turn back into a 10 first, right? So I'm turning back into a 10. Ooh, I gotta get my greens back into a 10. All right, I'm gonna do a big one. Now, I haven't dropped anything yet, so if you voted that I was going to drop something, you might lose. Okay, still haven't dropped anything. Okay, how about this one? Woo! I used all of my greens and all of my blues. So that means the bottom row all together is 20. Can you see them? Woo! 20. All right. So I have a 10 plus another 10. So 10 blue, 10 green. And then I have one, two, three, four, ooh, five reds. You almost won. I almost dropped it. Okay. We have five reds at the top. So maybe you put them all together and knew that we had, my goodness, 10, 20, 25. Maybe you thought about it like that. Or maybe you thought about it as how many more 
greens and blues what I need to make 40. Or maybe you thought about it as how many more would I need to get to the end? And how many more would I need? Let's see. Maybe you would count this way because you would know you would need 10 up here, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. So you'd have to add 15 more cubes to get to the end there. All right, you guys, it's a sad day for you, those of you who voted for me to drop things because I made it all the way through without dropping. I can't believe it. That never happens. Okay, so today we're going to do a little story called Four Leaf Clover because, you know, we're in that season. It's springtime. It's getting beautiful outside, right? We've had lots of rain and rain showers, and now we're getting our clovers and our flowers. It's beautiful out. All right, so four leaf clovers. Preston saw, hmm, four leaf clovers. He saw, hmm, more than Hunter. How many four leaf clovers did Hunter see? Mm. Okay, let's think about it with numbers. Okay, you might choose 12 and five, 43 and 15, or 120 and 32. We're gonna try reading it with our first number set, 12 and five. All right, so let's check this out. Preston saw 12 four leaf clovers. Okay, so count them out in your head. And he saw five more than Hunter. Okay, so let's think about that. I'm gonna use my tools. So 12 four leaf clovers. So I took my 10 and then put two more. This is Preston, right? And he, we know that Preston saw five more than Hunter. Hmm. So will Hunter have more or less clovers in his mind's eye than Preston? We know, we know from the story, right? So we have to be like detectives. We really have to look for those math clues to see what we're gonna do. Now, mathematicians, it's also important that we use our tools, right? So do you have your cubes? Do you have your rocks? I don't know, maybe your clovers, your pictures, your drawings, your whiteboards, your markers, your everything. Go get it, kids. It's time to solve. I'll see you next time. Bye.